Not all of these impresarios that came to Texas proved to be worthy of the trust that Mexico placed in them. For instance, Hayden Edwards came to Texas all legally. He came in with a contract, an impresario contract, to bring in 800 families, but almost immediately betrayed the trust that Cole Wheeler had placed in him. In fact, in 1826, he declares the Republic of Fredonia in Nacogdoches, flying a red and white flag that uh, claimed a, a desire for freedom and justice and independence. Uh, he recruited not only his colonists, but also some immigrant Cherokee families that had moved into East Texas after having wandered away from Georgia, Tennessee, and the Carolinas through Arkansas Territory and into uh, Texas, into the woods of East Texas. So you have uh, American colonists, some of these Cherokee immigrants, and uh, they're going to carve out an independent state in East Texas. What happens next is fairly remarkable. Uh, the other impresarios, remember, they're asked to develop militias and to raise militias within their colonies, uh, are asked to respond. And so now we have the first time that you have an American asked to oppose another American in their movements, uh, in their uh, insurrection. Stephen F. Austin answers the call, and he sends his militia, a group of armed citizens from his colony north towards Nacogdoches to help suppress the Fredonia Rebellion. Mexican troops also throw in and Hayden Edwards ends up making a run for it and the entire thing collapses. But the fact that Stephen F. Austin is willing to raise troops, raise militia, to assist Mexican authorities in suppressing an American insurrection is notable. See, Stephen F. Austin is a law and order guy, uh, and he proves that he's a good citizen. He takes his uh, responsibilities very, very seriously. And when push came to shove, Austin proved that he was a good Mexican. And a good Mexican helps his nation throw out the riffraff.